गाइस एंड वेलकम टू अनदर व्लॉग टुडे वी हैव अ मच अवेटेड कंपैरिजन वीडियो ऑफ द ह्यूंडे क्रेटा द सेगमेंट लीडर द सेगमेंट किंग एंड द लेटेस्ट एडिशन टू द सेगमेंट टू द सी सेगमेंट एसयूवी द कॉम्पैक्ट एसयूवी सेगमेंट एंड इट्स द होंडा एलिवेट नाउ दिस इज the all new honda elevate the suv which honda launched after 6 years uh, and uh, it's the latest addition to their family and this has been around for almost 6 years this got a facelift uh, in 2020 and uh, this is the uh, post facelift model now we'll start with the headlights of the honda elevate we get led setup here we get led drls and led turn indicators as well Uh, the headlight uh, throw uh, is uh, decent enough uh, the spread is decent enough uh, as i've compared it in other videos and uh, we get fog lamps here led fog lamps no side curtain now let's start with the grill the grill has a polarizing design uh, you might not like it in the start but it will grow on you definitely uh, this suv has a butch stance it has a flat bonnet and uh, that's that makes it a very very commanding suv and uh, which the hyundai creta doesn't have the hyundai creta has a um, more streamlined body and uh, a linear design a soft design uh, where hyundai actually excels now talking about the creta we have led setup here too we have led headlights but the fog lamps are halogen and the indicators are uh, in bulb they are not in led talking about the grill of the hyundai creta uh, it comes in chrome finish and there's matte finish in between the grill of both of these cars is huge and now let's talk about the tire size of the honda elevate now we get a tire size of 21555 r17 and here we get a tire size of 21516 uh, sorry 21560 r70 both suvs get alloy rims and this one gets a silver finish and this one gets a diamond cut dual finish and if we talk about the wing mirrors this one gets a lane watch camera which is honda's uh, lane watch camera which is also in the honda city and this one doesn't get any lane watch camera or the 360 camera setup as you can see here and the length of this car is around 4300 mm and the length of the honda elevate is 4315 mm the height uh, has the honda elevate has an advantage of the height Uh, by 30 mm and the creta height is around 1635 mm whereas if we compare or talk about the ground clearance of the vehicle there's a huge different difference and creta has a ground clearance of 190 mm whereas the honda elevate boasts with a ground clearance of 220 mm which is the segment best as the mahindra thar gets this kind of ground clearance and uh, we'll see later on if the handling is good enough with this amount of ground clearance we get rear parking sensors here uh, there's the reflector these are the led tail lamps they yes they are not connected and they get the halogen led indi uh, halogen indicators and halogen reverse lamp led tail lights and led brake lights This is the whole light setup of Honda Elevate. We get a rear wiper and washer. No integrated spoiler here. Shark fin antenna and roof rails. Similarly, we get a shark fin antenna, roof rails, and a rear mounted spoiler with a washer. Here we have the rear wipers, and this is the high mounted stop lamp of the Creta and. this is the high mounted stop lamp of the elevate now we have a major difference in this car this is the 1.4 liter turbo charged engine so we have dual exhaust and here we have the hidden exhaust 
around here it's a single to a single exhaust now uh, the creta had a very polarizing design and some people like it some people don't but the elevate has a basic design which people uh, will not hate or like either so it's a basic design uh, caters to every man's needs and now we don't have chrome finish door handles uh, there's the fuel lid and this is the c pillar finished in silver whereas in elevate there's no such case we have chrome door handles now in honda elevate we get request sensors for both the sides for the driver side as well as the passenger side but in creta we don't get any request sensor plus the honda's passive key feature is uh, passive entry feature is just put your hand here and the car will open now if we talk about the honda elevates wipers they don't get aero twin wipers and uh, similarly with hyundai creta no aero twin wipers just basic wiper there are dual washer units and as you can see in the elevate there is only a single washer unit we'll talk about the spray and uh, how the wipers function as well the major difference in both of these cars is that this one gets a single pane sunroof and if we talk about the creta it gets a panoramic one guys if we talk about the boot space uh, the hyundai creta gets a boot space of 430 uh, liters and uh, whereas the honda elevate gets a boot space of 458 liters the segment best again the segment leading and uh, the loading lip is on the higher side and we get uh, the puddle lamp here uh, the boot lamp and we get two hooks for loading your weight and if we see here we get a boot lamp again but no hooks uh, and we get the subwoofer the bose sound system which we get in the car the space is not uh, managed that well in the creta uh, whereas in the elevate uh, with the advantage of uh, more capacity the space is managed well both of them get split seat and uh, as you can see the elevate gets a 40 60 split seat similarly with the hyundai creta it gets a 40 50 split seat but the elevate is the one who takes uh, an advantage in the boot space as it is way better in uh, fitting three or four luggages if you are going on a road trip or something like that in the honda elevate we just get a, a car opening and closing switch and uh, in the hyundai creta we get the boot uh operation uh from the key itself this might be a cost cut from honda because as you can see the boot will open now talking about the getting in and out uh, situation of the honda elevate the ingress uh of the honda elevate so it's pretty easy uh unlike a sedan and uh, as you can see i have ample amount of legroom here and decent amount of headroom Uh, but it is only comfortable for two passengers in the rear seat behind, and it's not really comfortable for the third passenger as there is a big hump here. And if I want to get out, it's simple and easy. This seat, the front seat, is adjusted to my height, and according to that, I was getting good amount of leg room. And here also, this driving seat is positioned uh, to my height and my specs, uh, the way I sit. And we have a lot of leg room here. if for the, uh, if we compare for the passenger seat as well uh, on the other hand if we compare the seat adjustment we have manual seat adjustment if both for height and uh, as well as recline angle so this is something uh, different from hyundai creta as hyundai creta gets an electronically adjustable six way adjustment of the seat and uh, the thigh support is not that great here but it's adequate uh, for someone uh, who's who'll be 5 uh, 10 height uh, of 5 10 height and all the driver's touch points are soft here there are soft pad on the doors and uh, as you can see everything 
is uh, suitable to driving uh, perspective. The bonnet is clearly visible. The seating height is brilliant. Ventilated seats are offered in the turbo variant of the Hyundai Creta, but if we do a fair comparison, Honda Elevates ZX and Hyundai Creta's SX variant, both of them miss out on the ventilated seats as they fall in the same price bracket. So we can't say that Honda Elevate is missing a big feature because the Hyundai Creta does not get it if you go for the naturally aspirated variant of the Hyundai Creta as well. Moreover, the semi-digital instrument cluster is offered in the Hyundai Creta's turbo variants and not in the variants which come with naturally aspirated engines, whereas the Honda Elevate's VX variant and the ZX variant both offer 7-inch digital instrument clusters. So we have uh, this gear lever uh, which is really nice to hold and uh, we get in the reverse uh, gear of the car, we have four parking sensors and uh, guidelines as well now uh, i'll talk about the electronic parking brake which the honda elevate does not get and as well as a very important feature in broad indian summer daylight which many people need now is the ventilated seats as it cools down the seats uh, really well and we definitely needed this feature in the honda elevate but they did not give it Whereas uh, we get a auto climate control, uh, which is uh, the case in all the cars today. Every car gets auto climate control in this segment. We get auto uh, headlamp with follow me home function, same as uh, th uh, in the Elevate. We also get paddle shifters. In the Elevate, in the CVT variant, we also get paddle shifters. Here we have the auto foldable mirror and uh, all the other power uh, buttons for example here we have one touch up and down for the driver window but not for any passenger window the this is the similar case in the honda elevate the engine start stop button and the dedicated traction control button now uh, here we also get the primary feature which hyundai creta has sold so many units which is the panoramic sunroof and uh, I'll open the panoramic sunroof using the blue link function. How can I help you? Open the sunroof. Opening the sunroof. As you can see, you get a wide view of the sunroof. And we get a huge sunroof in the Creta. It brings a lot of airy feel in the cabin, so it definitely is a handy feature to have, a good feature to have, but this can also compromise on the safety of the car, uh, on the build of the car. Uh, and as we know, the Hyundai Creta gets three stars in the global end cap. We don't know the test rating of this uh, Honda Elevate, but it's based on the platform of Honda City, which scored a good five stars in the Asian end cap. So we are expecting good results from this car as well. Now let's talk about the space here. We get an armrest, decent amount of space. We get a wireless charger. We also get a wireless charger in the Elevate and here we have the infotainment screen. The infotainment screen is really slick to use. Uh, as all the Hyundai and Kia units, they are very slick to use. And the touch response is just out of this world. Uh, no other car gives you this kind of touch response. Here uh, we can also set up the auto uh, the air purifier which is another USB of this car, the air purifier, and also the auto dimming IRVM with the sunglass holder, which we get here. And uh, the Honda Elevate does not get a sunglass holder along with the cabin lights. No vanity mirror here, single vanity mirror without any light. Now let's check the horn. And we have the digital instrument cluster, part digital instrument cluster and various drive modes which the Honda Elevate doesn't get the snow, mud, sand and if we want drive modes like eco, sport and comfort mode. We also get height adjustable seat belts which we do not get in the Honda Elevate. Now let's check out the Honda Elevate and uh, 
लुक एट ऑल द फीचर्स दैट इट हैज बिन मिसिंग और सम फीचर्स विच आर एडिशनल इन द होंडा एलिवेट सो नाउ गाइज वी आर इन द केबिन ऑफ द होंडा एलिवेट एंड we uh, will talk about the commanding driving position here first of all the bonnet is clearly visible not even from the front seat but also from the rear seats and let's talk about the steering wheel we have the volume control buttons here the adaptive cruise control buttons and the lane keep assist which is powered by the adas uh, which the hyundai creta doesn't get and uh, we uh, are sitting in the manual variant so here we do we just have a slight dead pedal and uh, we also get automatic climate control the interior quality and finish of elevate is definitely a notch above the creta as all the materials here are soft touch there is the wooden finish and this is food grade plastic uh, in the honda elevate which is used and here we get a manual handbrake uh, unlike the creta which gets a uh, automatic uh, parking brake and here we have the new 10.25 inch display which is actually a good unit to use it's really slick but it's not as slick to use in the creta right now it's lagging a little bit because it's overheated and here we have the hazard light switch the interior quality of the switches is just way too better than the creta uh, here we have the leather wrap steering wheel and we also get uh, rear wipers and uh, def uh, defogger as you can see here and we also get uh, follow me home auto headlights and the engine start stop button the traction control and all the other features uh, for example the auto foldable ovms uh all these switches are illuminated uh not the passenger ones but the driver side window is one touch up and down and we also have an auto dimming ir vm in this car now we get an eight speaker system here uh it's not a branded system uh, like the hyundai creta which has a bose uh, premium eight sound speaker but uh, here we get two tweeters in the front uh speakers on the door pad as you can see here and uh, two tweeters in the back as well the door handles are finished in uh not in the chrome material but in silver polish and we have a visible cost cutting here which is a screw similarly as we can see here this is also the result of cost cutting we have a mirror uh not with a light on the driver side a mirror with a light which is a great feature to have uh, we also have a single pane sunroof and like the hyundai hyundai creta now uh, indians are a big fan of sunroof uh, particularly in my opinion sun a bigger sunroof is not uh, really required but it is a good feature to have but it also compromises on the safety of the car and here we'll open the sunroof yes that's how far it just goes this is the opening and we'll close it as it's heating the cabin lot now uh, the quality of this sun blind is too flimsy according to me uh, it shouldn't slide as easily as i'm able to slide it and here we have led cabin lamps but no sunglass holder and here we also have a power outlet a 12 volt char charging socket a wireless charger and a dedicated button to turn on and turn off the wireless charger along with usb a ports not usb c uh we have twin cup holders here and decent uh holders for uh, in the door pads for uh, storing your bottle the glove box is not cooled but it is wide enough and if we talk about the armrest uh decent size space in the armrest now let's talk about this button uh this helps us to control the instrument cluster brightness and uh, here as i'm increasing the brightness yes in the day mode it will increase now let's talk about the part digital part analog instrument cluster uh where here we have the tachometer here we have the range and fuel which is showing us the average of the vehicle the speed and time and the g force meter uh again the creta gets all these features but this 
unit is subjective to looks uh, according to me it's uh, the elevates unit is a little subtle and uh, not too shiny on the eyes if you drive at night a lot and we also uh, get uh, we also don't get any drive modes as it's a manual transmission we get six speed manual transmission and now let's talk about one main feature which the honda elevate is missing is the height adjustable seat belts and it offers a door handle again on the driver side which the hyundai greta does not offer but it does get the height adjustable seat belt which is a miss in the honda elevate along with ventilated seats which is a very important feature to have as indian summers get very hot and we do need that the quality of the seat is just way above any car in this segment not just creta any car above the segment because the leatherite upholstery that honda uses is just too premium and similarly the fit and finish of the vehicle hard plastics down here hard plastic above but softish material here hard plastic again the plastic use here is a little cheap but again we can work with that now guys let's uh, get on with the drive review of the hyundai creta and this is a 1.4 liter turbocharged tgdi engine of the hyundai and uh, hyundai and kia group they share this engine uh it's discontinued now uh, but it used to have the power outputs uh of uh, 250 newton meter of torque and 114 bhp which was a uh, decent which is decent amount of torque and power figures on paper but in uh, real conditions uh this car doesn't have the turbo engines like the germans have but it does have a good mid range punch and here we are cruising at 50 kilometers per hour there is decent amount of body roll now uh the suspension of this car is tuned uh very softly and the suspension is uh not that uh, stiff here we'll check the braking performance awaaz aati hai iski bahut and here we'll put the car in the sports mode now it's in the fourth gear the pull is decent and under heavy braking as you can see the suspension uh, was soft and i didn't feel that much of the speed breaker inside the cabin the steering's uh, radius is uh, decent enough but not as great as the honda elevate steering uh, i'm not getting a good uh, commanding view of the driver seat uh, as uh, i get in the honda elevate because it has a flat bonnet but uh, this car does have the comfort and convenience the brake bite is uh, decent there's one more point that i would like to cover uh, this car does have uh, does does not have a good interior quality as you can see here if uh, my leg will rest here as there's the dead pedal and my leg will rest here this will make quite a noise uh, the interior quality the quality of the switches uh, is not uh, that great the honda's interior quality is uh, a notch above the creta we do get an ambient light here which i can't show you right now yeah there you go this is the ambient light the ambient light also runs throughout the dashboard the honda elevate does not get any ambient light but uh, the interior quality the yeah uh, as you can see the switches are too clicky and clackety like they are not 
uh, subtle to use they are not plush uh, because the honda always uh, offers good amount good amount of quality in their interior there are hard plastics everywhere no soft touch material here no soft touch so guys this was the review of the hyundai creta now we'll get in the honda elevate and see how well it is to drive okay guys so now we are in the honda elevate and to turn off the hazard light and we'll go on a short drive and see how the car handles how the car is where how the car drives on a highway and we'll check whether there's good amount of body roll so now we are cruising in fifth gear and uh, we are at a speed of 60 km per hour honda has just outplayed everyone in terms of suspension see there was a bad patch of road and i feel like i glided all over it honda has done such a brilliant job in the driving dynamics the steering is so good to hold it weighs up decently at higher speeds there's the lane watch camera as you can see and uh, the steering holds up decently well at higher speeds and it's so light at lower speeds so the steering does not have that gimmicky feel uh, which i was talking about in the hyundai greta the elevate being an suv with about 220 mm of ground clearance and absolutely 0.5% uh, of body roll that means it's it the body roll is so well controlled the tuning is just on another level of this car now there is this in clear acceleration noise if i want the car yeah between now it's not coming right now but if i'll get in the third gear uh, you will hear that in gear acceleration noise which definitely is not a you know an ivita characteristic but yeah here you can Th that noise that noise yeah as soon as it comes in the power band as soon as the iv tech starts to wake up you will definitely feel the power of the engine eating position is just so good like i feel like i'm sitting in a segment above car like i'm sitting in a fortuner on an endeavor definitely because this flat bonnet makes me point the vehicle anywhere i can point the vehicle anywhere and it will go there that's the level of confidence uh, the seating position is giving me and uh, we definitely have adas in this car uh, i can show you how ada how the the adas will work above the speeds of 70 km per hour but yeah this engine is so refined at lower speed now if i want to cruise in 6th gear and we'll see uh, we'll let's just test out how the car will pull through in a higher gear so smooth it's pulled so smoothly you can just uh, skip one or two gears and from fourth you can put on the sixth gear that's the level of refinement in this engine in this 1.5 liter ivtec dohc motor earlier it used to come with a single uh, overhead camshaft um in the third generation and the fourth generation of the city but with the fifth generation honda city uh, 2020 model they have changed that and yes you do feel the vtec kicking in so there is no body roll i can feel this amount of body roll even in my honda city so i think the honda elevate has done a great job honda has done a great job in uh tuning of this car uh the suspension and the driving dynamics are obviously they are just a uh, notch above uh, the korean brothers and uh toyota and maruti as well so yeah honda has outplayed everyone i'll say that again and keep saying that again yeah there are some disappointing factors of this car like you don't get ventilated seats but hey who is going to think about that when you can do this with your car it is indeed a fun to drive suv now we'll test 
the brakes yeah the brakes are uh, the brake bite is good enough it comes in uh, early and uh, uh, according to me the brakes are uh, more sure footed than the Hyundai Creta's brakes but not as sure footed as the Skoda Kushak or the VW Tigon's brakes and um, yeah the high riders suspension is just on another level the high rider uh, takes on bad roads easily so if high rider is a 20 this is a 19 this is my opinion the horn uh, sounds really good and now okay we can see we are in a traffic jam so we'll just crawl along in the second gear at a speed of seven kilometers per hour now i'll put on the fifth gear from directly from the fifth gear and yeah the car is lifting up on a hill like it's a slope and the car is lifting up easily in that gear so now i've put on the sixth gear yes that, there is that in gear acceleration noise but you will get used to it and i think the engine needs to open up and the engine needs to serve a good thousand kilometers and then this noise would be less heard and we can see that there's this driver uh, rear view monitor uh, to see if there's any car behind you. This has been my review of the Honda Elevate. If you want a car with a decent reliable engine with a good power pickup and uh, you want a naturally aspirated engine and you don't want uh, the turbocharged engines that uh, many other brands are offering us and if you want a good handling SUV you should definitely go for this car this has been it uh, this has been the comparison of the honda elevate and the hyundai greta i think the hyundai greta needs to work on its safety because the honda elevate excels in safety in every corner yes it does have six airbags uh, the hyundai greta also have six airbags but the hyundai greta does not have adas which it will probably add in the facelift but it does need to improve its stability its build uh, the structure the body frame they are using uh, and the chassis uh, the hyundai greta is built on is definitely not safe not as safe as the elevate and uh, we hope uh, that elevate scores five stars in the next uh, uh, ncap testing so According to me, the Hyundai, uh, the Honda Elevate is definitely the car to go for if you want an SUV with a good pickup, a reliable engine and an engine you don't need to care about. Even after 10 years, you will look back at this engine and it would serve you just today. The engine would be as silent as it is today and it would serve you a good 2 to 3 lakhs kilometer as the Honda engines do and this has been it uh, according to me uh, at this price point Honda Elevate is the best deal to get right now uh, because these prices won't last forever uh, so Honda Elevate is not giving some features but on the uh, cusp of that features they are definitely giving you a good price so you should definitely go for this vehicle uh, but if you do want uh, the air purifier the ventilated seats i think you can then opt for the hyundai greta or the kia seltos but let me just tell you the handling of the hyundai greta and kia seltos is not at the same level as the honda elevate the honda elevates excels in the handling the body roll uh, the control at higher speeds the cornering uh, is just uh, if if i'm uh, cornering at high speeds the honda elevate will just handle way better there is road noise as you can hear there is tire noise and good amount of road noise which was not in the Hyundai Creta uh, as the insulation might been uh, might have been better in that car so yeah uh, this is a drawback of the car now we got uh, a good driving experience of the Creta as well as the Elevate and uh, according to me uh, the elevate does have some features uh, where it excels as it has adas a good safety feature it both gets six airbags 
uh, and uh, the car uh, is three star uh, rated in the global and cap the creta and the elevate is uh, might score might just score five stars uh, but according to me uh, considering the price point of the elevate as you can get the top model the on road price of this car is 17.20 for the manual transmission whereas uh, you will get the 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine of the Hyundai Creta at a premium of around uh, 80000 so it is the creta is on the expensive side and the elevate gives you all the features that you really really need except the ventilated seats uh, at this price point and considering all the other aspects of the engine and the smoothness the refinement the refinement of Honda Elevate's engine is just on another level so i think the elevate is the car to go for with such a high ground clearance and if you really want an suv the suv look you should definitely go for the honda elevate whereas if you uh, want a city driving car a car uh, in which comfort matters to you and all these features uh, like ventilated seats blue link connected car features the honda elevate also get connected car features like uh, the honda connect app where you can control the ac and uh, start the engine and uh, check the door and uh, the um, if the door are unlocked or not and track the car um, so if you want all these features you can go for creta but again the safety aspect is a major point in the creta which is why i would not recommend you to choose hyundai creta because even the honda excels in everything inside the interior the interior fit and finish the quality the seats so this has been my review of both the cars and if you like this video do like this video and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in another video and bring on a lot of other comparisons with the honda elevate uh, stay tuned for the videos